Hi, I'm Charlotte with Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to another edition of What's for Dinner. This week we did all freezer meals transformed into our weeknight suppers. And as you can see, I'm gearing up for another session of freezer meals. Christy's coming over this weekend and we're going to assemble another, we think about 130, like somewhere between 120 and 130. Um, meals so uh, then we will have a lot more meals going into the future. I've got some of the groceries. Christy still has to do the Costco runs. So this is just some of the non-perishable groceries that I've got and I've got the brown um, ground beef browning in the roasting oven behind me so there's 30 pounds in there. Um, I'll actually have a video of some of the prep including the ground beef so you can check that out there. And um, we're just going to get to what was what we had for supper is this week. So we did stuffed peppers, and it was kind of a Tex-Mex stuffed pepper that um, Christy and I had put together on the last day of our freezer meal session last time with some of the prepped ingredients we had left over. We had some rice left over and some peppers, onions, some ground beef, and so we just put that mixture all together into a bag. We added. I can't remember maybe some spices or whatever you can check out that video I will link it there and then you can get the full recipe but we just um, kind of we always do inventions with our leftover prepped ingredients at the end so that was what that was and then on the day of cooking we just thawed the mixture and um, we hollowed out some peppers filled those topped them with some cheese put them in the oven and it's a complete meal so that was really good uh, we did our chicken noodle casserole this week, really kid friendly. It's all one of those like all in one meals, so it was easy and nice. We also did uh, fish tacos. They were so good. That's a freezer meal that people are always surprised that you can make seafood freezer meals, but we do a lot of seafood freezer meals and fish tacos are so nice and summery and the weather's getting nicer out, so it was just nice to have that. We topped it with some really good things and it was really, really good. Um, I said good a lot. Sorry. I should come up with some new adjectives. If you have ideas for adjectives that I can use, you can add them in the comments. It's like tasty, delicious, good, great. Although I do tell you when we have a meal that isn't a hit. So um, another night we had the lasagna soup. This is our second time making it. It was one of the new freezer meals that we tried, the last freezer meal session that Christy and I did, and it's a, it's a winner. It's, I especially love like the ricotta on top, and it really does taste like lasagna in a bowl. So highly recommend that one. I actually was tempted to make it again this time, but we're trying to use all recipes that we didn't use last time just to give you guys a little bit more variety because when we put the video up for that, I don't want it to be like all recipes that you saw last time. So we're using entirely new recipes. They're not all new to us, but they will be new to you. So um, probably the next session after this, I will be doing the lasagna soup again because that's how much we loved it. Um, we also cooked up the Caesar chicken and this was another new recipe from last session. And it was one where we tried it in a tray and then we tried it in a bag to save space. And the one that I cooked up this time was the one in the bag. Worked perfectly, no problems with that. Uh, and it was also keto, which my husband's doing keto right now, so he was happy about that. And then I served it with some sides, uh, like roasted vegetables, asparagus, peppers, mushrooms, purple onion, and um, just a bagged kale salad. So it was very easy. That's what we ate this week for our dinners, and I will show you each of them. So on the last day of our last big freezer meal assembly, we took some of the leftover ingredients and invented recipes with them. So we made this stuffed pepper mixture, or it could be a skillet thing. So it is either sausage or ground beef in here. I can't remember, I'd have to go back and watch the video. And there was some corn, some, looks like um, diced green chilies, onions, tomatoes, and some rice. So I'm just going to 
These are washed and ready to slice. So I'm just gonna cut the tops off and uh, empty the seeds out. And then I'm going to fill them with this um, mixture. And then we will pop those in the oven. I'm gonna top them with cheese probably. And that will be supper tonight. So with the peppers hollowed out, I just filled each one of them. And now I'm going to top them with cheese. Since these kind of have some Southwest Mexican kind of flavors, you could do a um, taco blend or something like that. I'm just doing matzah, but I'm going to leave one of them without cheese because one of our sons has some lactose issues. So I'm going to leave him one without cheese. Then I'm gonna pop these in the oven and that will be supper tonight. And there you have it, stuffed peppers all ready for dinner. Uh, they've got your protein in there, dairy, vegetables, and starch with the rice, so it's really a complete meal. But we're probably gonna pair it with a salad because I have two bagged salads in the fridge. And yeah, there you go, folks. This lasagna soup freezer meal actually turned out really well. This was our first time making it this last freezer meal session and Christy and I have both really enjoyed it and our families have too. So we're making that today. Just going to put this, um, well, take the staples out and put what's in this bag in a pot, bring that to a boil, add the broken lasagna noodles, and then I'll top it with um, the cheeses that are in the small bag. So that's ricotta and parmesan. So I've just gone ahead and put the noodles in there. Just waiting for them to cook. I've got five noodles in there, which is the perfect amount. We tried eight last time and it was too many. Five works perfectly because Chrissy told me. today's supper we're going to have this chicken noodle casserole everything in it including the pasta and the chicken is pre-cooked and so it's just going to go in the oven to reheat and then we'll throw some cheese on top and I'm going to serve it with a bagged kale salad I went the easy route and just bought a bag of salad so that is dinner tonight so I've just dumped that bag into a casserole dish and then I'm going to top it with some cheese. Earlier today, one of my daughters was making a homemade mac and cheese for lunch and my mom was over and she grated the cheese for her and she made some extra cheese. So it's a combination of cheddar um, and like an aged white cheddar. So she just shredded that up and we put a couple bags in the freezer for occasions just like this. Now normally I would grate a bag of cheese and attach the bag with staples to this large bag, but I must have forgotten, which has happened to me before. So um, in that case, it's great to have extra bags of shredded cheese in the freezer for just such occasions. Tonight we're having these salsa fish tacos and I'm pretty excited because this one is a real winner and super easy to make. So we're just, you can put this in the oven, but I'm actually just going to fry it up quickly in the frying pan and then we're going to serve it with on corn tortillas with guacamole and I cheated on the guacamole this time. I totally just bought store-bought because it's a busy day and I'm just getting home now, which is what these freezer meals are great for, actually. Um, and then a mango salsa, again, store-bought. 
Uh, and got some cilantro that is growing in my little herb garden. And that's what we're gonna top it with. It's going to be amazing. I probably should have used a larger skillet. It's still gonna do the trick, but it won't be quite as crispy. But anyway, this is our fish tacos. Uh, they will be done in just a few minutes. You don't wanna overcook your fish, or you can do them in the oven for like 10 to 12 minutes. So we've got some corn tortillas, a few leftover flour tortillas from those breakfast quesadillas we made the other day, the mini ones, and then some pico de gallo, some guacamole and mango salsa, those are store-bought. And then we've got our beautiful fresh cilantro in that herb garden that I love so much. And so that's what we're gonna put on top of our fish tacos. This Caesar chicken was a new recipe that we tried this time. So we will see what it tastes like. We've got the cheese attached to a bag on the back and we'll pop that in the oven, top it with cheese and serve it with our sides. So I just dumped the bag of Caesar chicken in this casserole dish and then I'm just gonna top it with the Parmesan cheese that was stapled on the back of the bag. Pop that in the oven. I'm going to serve it with um, some grilled vegetables. I think I have like asparagus and peppers. Maybe I have some mushrooms I can throw in there too. Anyway, I'm gonna do some vegetables on the side and a bagged kale salad. And that should make a really easy dinner for tonight. So we've got the Caesar chicken out of the oven and our bagged kale salad, some veggies. So we're just gonna spoon this chicken, looks pretty good, onto the plate and that will be supper. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out that video there. Um, about the grocery haul and prep that we're doing to get ready for the upcoming freezer meals. And next week, make sure you check out the videos of us turning all of this into delicious suppers. Oh, there's that delicious word again. Anyway, thanks again for joining me and happy cooking.